Here we are at Fab Speed Motorsports USA, July 2014, and we're going to have a video explanation of the new Porsche Macan uh, twin turbo mufflers. Uh, we have had a Macan twin turbo come in. This is a 3.6 liter, 400 horsepower plus car, um, and we've had a car here for a number of months. We've worked on several iterations of rear sports mufflers for the car. We've developed our max flows. But a lot of our Porsche customers in the U.S. and overseas enjoy our videos explaining to you what Porsche has done to make mufflers for these cars and how they engineer the sound. I want to mention to you, though, that uh, often you'll see a Porsche ad on TV and the cars will sound like American muscle cars or have some grumbles. Typically, all the Porsche twin turbos have no sound whatsoever. From the 996 twin turbo, 997 twin turbo, the 997 twin turbo second generation to the Cayenne twin turbos, and the new Macan twin turbos, they're like nuclear vacuum cleaners. There's no sound coming out of these cars a lot of the time. And I'm gonna show you the reasons why uh, the, the cars are so quiet. So here on the ground are the Porsche Macan 3.6 liter twin turbo mufflers. And whenever I see these ridges on these stamp mufflers, there's usually a divider wall in there, okay? And typically that'll be the first chamber, center chamber, or third cha chamber mufflers in the hub reverse flows. I'm just gonna give you a brief overview and show you what I mean. Here's a Porsche 996 normally aspirated muffler. And uh, you can see the ridges here, here, and here. So chamber one, chamber two, chamber three. And uh, the exhaust, for instance, on the 996, 997, and 997.2 cars, the exhaust comes in, goes into this first chamber, labeled with a one. This is pinched shut. And then the exhaust has to come through these holes. It pressurizes this. The, the first chamber here then goes through this pipe right here because there's no other way out and it comes through here and then they have it slamming into this tight wall here with these holes which they've done their flow analysis then it pressurizes this chamber and then the only way for the exhaust to get from this second chamber is to fight its way back through these holes that they've done their analysis and figured out how much flow has to be supported given a level of horsepower and sports car sound they want to keep these cars ultra quiet then it fills up the center third chamber here and then it goes through this velocity at stack out to the tip. So Porsche has been doing this for years. We've been cutting these mufflers open for years and doing x-rays for Ferrari, Porsche and other exotic cars because the owners like to see what the OEMs are doing and what Fastspeed USA is trying to engineer to make it better and make more horsepower sports car sound with no drone. So here on the floor again is the Macan twin turbo mufflers. Exhaust comes in this pipe. First chamber, center, second chamber, third chamber. There's an electronic valve here. Now, what some of these manufacturers are doing, they'll put these little vacuum valves or electronic valves so when you start the car up, you have a little bit of grumble and sports car sound. And it's exciting when you start it up. And then, but usually, these typically, they turn off immediately and then you don't hear anything. And uh, you can see the electrical connection there. And then you can see the valve in there uh, that opens and shuts. It's open now by default. Uh, and then you can see the other exhaust outlet. All right, and that's that muffler. That's the right side muffler. Here's the left side Macan turbo muffler. Um, there's a little tiny pipe in there, about three quarters of an inch. Exhaust comes in, bounces around here. It looks like you have three chambers. And this is where all the heat is, so this means there's probably packing in here, in my opinion, because whenever you see that heat signature, you know something's cooking. And then if you look in there, look at that tiny little pipe. That's going to probably be a muffler bypass pipe. And then there's the main exhaust is coming out there. So in Porsche's wisdom with their engineers and people, that's what they've, they've done. And uh, the car has no sports car sound whatsoever. So uh, that's what they've done. Uh, so given all that, we looked in with a boroscope. Uh, a fiber optic scope, we had a good understanding, knowing in the past what they've done and whatever, but I decided, ladies and gentlemen, Porsche enthusiasts, car enthusiasts, to send these out for industrial non-destructive testing. So they did an x-ray here, and they shot it here, and I spent the money to do so for you. And uh, here you can see the, uh, the right side Macan twin turbo muffler. So the exhaust comes in down here, uh, and this pipe is perforated here. Uh, and the calculations fills up this chamber here and then also this pipe goes straight ahead and it, there's some perforations in here that fills up this chamber. Now, when the exhaust goes through here and it pressurizes that, you can see holes right here. So just like on this muffler on the floor, uh, the exhaust is coming through here and coming in this center chamber. Now, 
there's also perforated here. Now here's where your electronic valve is up here. So when that valve opens up, it gives you a little bit of a muffler bypass pipe, but it's allowing the exhaust to, be, to get sucked out and break down a little bit in here. So when the exhaust fills up this chamber, goes to this wall, fills up this chamber, goes to this wall, this last wall is also perforated, and the exhaust fills up this third chamber and then goes in this pipe and then makes a 90 degree turn and goes out towards the tip, which is over here. So that's what that is. The exhaust is so the exhaust is uh, coming in here, it's perforated, coming in here, it's perforated. This wall is perforated, just like this muffler, and then it's filling this chamber, and then this wall is perforated, and then it's coming in this pipe and then making a real tight U bend and coming out towards this tip, and then this is allowing, when this valve opens, to give it a little bypass pipe. So that's what Porsche is doing on that. Here's your left side Macan turbo muffler. Exhaust comes in through here. As you can see, this is perforated in here, and it's not completely perforated because Porsche's exhaust engineers, whoever's designing their exhaust, they know how many perforated holes to put in there given the horsepower and torque capacity, what sound signature they want to have. Well, in this case, as I've told you, all the Porsche twin turbos cars are like nuclear vacuum cleaner. There is no sports car sound. So even if you see them on TV, like making it sound like a Mustang or a Cobra with sound, they're just dubbing over it. Um, so this fills up this chamber. Now there's no wall here, so this whole chamber is being filled with exhaust gases. And if you look in here closely, it almost looks like you have wool in here, like a blanket or something. That is exhaust packing. So the exhaust is coming through here, and it's running through all this packing, and then you can see the perforated wall here, and then the exhaust fills this second chamber in here. So when the pressure reaches enough, it, by the laws of uh, physics, it fills and migrates uh, the spent exhaust gases into the second chamber, and then it goes through this pipe, a 90 degree U-bend out to the tip, and this is that little three quarter inch pipe to fill the second tip. The reason they have that little pipe is there, they want the exhaust tip to have a little bit of carbon in there so it builds up, so the tip is active, not just passive. All right, here on the floor is the new Fab Speed Motorsports Max Flow High Performance Mufflers for the Macan uh, Twin Turbo, and uh, this is our third generation that we've dyno developed and refined. This is our proof of concept. We're very pleased with it. Uh, our new system will be, uh, we'll digitize this, we'll eliminate some of these welds, so this will all be one piece mandrel bent. And it has two lightweight high performance mufflers, comes with uh, clamps, here's our logo tag on there. And uh, we have these awesome, beautiful adjustable tips with rings in there. We're going to make even better brackets than these that are water jet on our Flow Mach 5 water jet with Macan on it, Macan with the Porsche script. And this is a direct replacement bolt on for the car. It saves 8 pounds and 3.6 kilograms, and the car sounds wonderful. Uh, you can actually hear a little bit of uh, turbo whistle coming out of the car. And then the next item we're going to work on is we're going to try to make primary cats with HGS 200 cell trimetallic sport cats. We should be able to pick up another 20 to 30 horsepower on top of the engine by eliminating the four cats that are up there that are ceramic restrictive cats. And uh, that's it from Fast Speed Motorsports, July 2014. I hope you found this video interesting. We went to a lot of trouble with x-rays and analysis to let you see what we're doing for these cars and what we do for exotic sports cars from all different brands uh, worldwide.